There's something more alarming than hijacking a plane, hijacking a school bus. In Cincinnati, Ohio, a daring individual commandeered a school bus, initiating a pursuit that led us across state lines into Indiana, with over 10 police cars joining the chase on the highway. Determined to escape, the hijacker veered off-road, leaving some less equipped police cars behind. However, five resilient four-wheel drive vehicles persisted in the pursuit, unaware of who remained on board. While it may have seemed like a reckless move, it demonstrated the hijacker's skill. Approaching two cruisers strategically positioned on a side road, the driver anticipated the deployment of a spike strip, a set of spikes designed to puncture fleeing vehicle tires. Aware of the cop's arsenal of tricks, the driver knew he had to escalate his efforts to stand any chance of eluding capture. The pursuit escalated, with the bus plowing through fences, a hedgerow, and narrowly avoiding a collision with a cemetery. Despite the chaos, the police maintained proximity. Although the off-road escapade initially evaded many officers, a dispatched police helicopter kept the bus in sight, allowing ground units to intercept it back on the highway a few minutes later. As dozens of police cars now swarmed the area, attempting to cut off the bus in various directions, an unexpected turn of events unfolded. The relentless off-road journey took a toll on the bus, causing it to fall apart after an hour. Ultimately, it was a strategically placed spike strip that brought the bus to a halt in a field. The apprehended driver was identified as 32-year-old Chad Murdoch, responsible for extensive property damage, including ramming into numerous police cars during the chase. 
Despite the havoc wrought on farmers' fields and police vehicles, relief swept through the authorities when it was confirmed that Murdoch was the sole occupant. Murdoch now faces charges of criminal recklessness with a vehicle, possession of stolen property, resisting law enforcement, and criminal mischief. As of February 2024, he awaits sentencing.